podcasting career has been so extraordinary. And I've got a little clip that I want to play. Yeah. So this is, this is from 1977. And I, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've presented a few television documentaries, and I still think that this is the greatest piece to camera of all time. Now, the problem is, it's kind of, the whole piece is about 10 minutes long. And I kind of want to show you the whole piece because it's this, it's this single dolly track. And you're talking about the history of rocket science. You're talking oh, about one, how one. you get from the thermos flask to the rocket. And you give us this wonderful potted history. In a single take, you talk about Tsiolkovsky, and you talk about um, uh, Herman Obert, and you talk about Robert Goddard. Yeah. But I'm going to pick it up about halfway through, because otherwise we'll be here all day. But, uh, but it's the end that I want you to concentrate. It's the very last shot. So let's have a little look at this. You see, all three men had understood that certain gases ignite and that the thermos flask permits you to store vast quantities of those gases safely in the frozen liquid form until you want to ignite them, at which point you take the top off the flask, the gases evaporate, you apply a light and boom. Now, two gases do that better than any other. And it was Obert's assistant who put them together most efficiently. His name was Werner von Braun. And the two gases that he released from his particular version of a thermos flask, the one lying on its side behind me now, were hydrogen and oxygen. If you release those two gases into a confined space with a hole at the other end of it and mix them as you do so, and then set light to them, you get that. Destination, the moon, or Moscow. <laughs> the planets, or Putin. Um, well, I, I was lucky enough to, um, to go out to, to Kazakhstan to, for Tim Peake's launch, and I was covering Tim Peake's launch live for the BBC, and I had this brilliant idea. I said, well, why don't we get, because the Soyuz is on its side, and we could do the whole history from the R7 all the way through yeah. to now and do the launch. Yeah. And everyone looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> and they were like, no, you couldn't. We, weren't, we can't do that kind of stuff now. But just tell us, so that was the, that was the Voyager. That was the Voyager spacecraft, 1977. 77, yeah. Just talk us through the timing of that shot, because it is a brilliant well, piece of camera. The great thing about NASA is 99.9% .9 of the time it does what it says it's going to do, like launches. Um, and so I, the, the walk down the side of the rocket, as you say, is much longer, and I wrote that and did that. And then that last cut where you cut to a tight shot of the distance out of, out of focus rocket and I walk in, blah, blah. I wrote 10 seconds of words. It takes one second to walk in, so that's 11. Um, it takes uh, one second to point, <laughs> one second to pull focus so that you focus the rocket, and the rocket goes. So it's 13 seconds. And uh, we could hear the countdown coming from but the loudspeakers. So at 13 seconds to go, I stepped in and did my bit. And we took it home and we said to the BBC, look what we did. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they said, yeah, it looks like, looks like back projection. <laughs> what? Now, for those of you who don't know what back projection is, you run a film and you stand in front of the film and it looks as if you're really there. Yeah. And I said, you can't change focus to back projection because that's a focus full of three miles and the back projection film would be you know, 27 inches away. And they said, the audience doesn't know about pulling focus to back projection. <laughs> And I said, the audience doesn't about back projection. And they said, oh, all right. But nobody said good. <laughs> really? It's funny because I, I've got to tell you, it's been doing the rounds recently on Twitter and on the internet. And it, the, you know, the world has fallen in love with that particular clip. Were you not terrified? I know you'd, know you'd, you'd counted the seconds, but we, did you not have just a terrible fear that you were going to muck it up and f fluff your line? Because well, you, you can't say, oh, can we, can we just get it back down again? And, and, you know, go again. Yeah, I suppose I'm a bit nervous, yes, but not much, not because much. it's only words, and if we got it, we had a spare camera on the rocket, so we could get the rocket anyway, you know, okay. so if it didn't go, it didn't go. Uh, yeah, I was scared, yes.